My name is Joe Wiktorowicz and welcome to Allied TV. Moving can be difficult and stressful any time of year, but did you know that certain times are better than others? If your schedule is flexible and you want to avoid peak busy times for moving companies and save yourself some extra costs, there are several factors you need to keep in mind. Today we're going to look at the ideal time of year and time of month to consider when moving, as well as several other factors to look at before deciding the best time for your move. So let's get started. When planning out your moving day, keep in mind that the more flexible you are in terms of the date you would like to move, the better. This will ensure that you're able to avoid the busy season and reduce costs associated with the move. So when's the best time of year to move? Most companies will tell you either in the spring or fall. This is the time that movers are usually less busy and will most likely be able to offer you a better rate on your move. Moving companies are often the busiest through June through September when children are not in school. But if you want to avoid the extra stress, it's best to forget about June through September and instead focus on spring or fall time. Now that you know the best times of the year to move, let's talk about the best times of the month. Deciding to move at the beginning of a month is usually your best option. Moving companies are busiest mid-month and end of the month. Also, keep in mind that moving on weekends usually will cost you more than moving during the week. If you want to save yourself some extra money, schedule a move at the beginning or end of the week. While time of year and time of month are important considerations to keep in mind, it's also crucial to look at other factors as well. If you have children who are currently enrolled in school, it may be easier on them if you schedule to move over the summer or over a holiday. Although this will be a busy time for moving companies, it may help reduce stress on your children. Besides considering children, you should also think about your employment. If moving for work, you may have no say-so when it comes to the moving date and time. Be sure to coordinate with your employer to find the best option for both of you. Another factor to keep in mind is the availability to move into your new home and when you're required to be out of your old one. You wouldn't want to schedule a moving day and then realize that your new home isn't even ready to be moved into. It's best to check both of these dates beforehand. Now that you know the moving factors to keep in mind, let's talk about how far in advance you should schedule your move. Selecting a moving company should be done as far in advance as possible. Once you compile a list of your top three moving companies, call each of them. Receive in-home estimates and choose which one you think is best for your move. Coordinate with the company and be sure to have your final moving date set at least six weeks in advance. This will ensure you're able to actually move on the date you want and save you a lot of stress and unnecessary hassle. Again, remember that if you choose to move during any of the busy times such as summer, holidays, or weekends, you will most likely be charged more since moving companies up their rates during busier times. If you want to save yourself some money, really consider moving at the other times that we talked about. So now that you understand the best times to schedule your move, start calling companies and schedule your move today. Thanks for watching Allied TV. I'm Joe Wiktorowicz, wishing you a safe and easy move.